Russia plans to deploy ballistic missiles on Finnish border. Threat to Europe is growing. Russian media reports that the Kremlin plans to deploy ballistic missiles close to its border with Finland. It's the latest in a series of military and hybrid threats that Russia has made against the Nordic state since it joined NATO in April last year in the wake of Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. The Russian newspaper Izvestia reported that a new brigade will be deployed in the Karelia region bordering Finland equipped with an Iskander M ballistic missile system. The Izvestia report quoted an ex-commander of Russia's Baltic fleet, Admiral Vladimir Valuev, who told the newspaper that the formation of a missile brigade is a very timely decision. This is an adequate response to Finland's accession to NATO. Despite the proximity to Finland, the potential deployment is not raising alarm bells in Helsinki, said security analyst Charlie Salonius Pasternak of the Finnish Institute of International Affairs. This is really not news. And of course, announcing a thing and then doing something about it are two very different things when it comes from Russia. So overall, we really haven't seen a lot other than rhetoric, he told VOA. Finland has warned that it is facing varied security and hybrid threats from Russia since it joined NATO. In the second half of 2023, following Finland's accession to the alliance, over 1,300 migrants from countries including Yemen, Syria and Somalia began to arrive at the Finnish-Russian border to try to claim asylum. Helsinki closed all crossing points along the frontier in November, accusing the Kremlin of weaponizing migration. They were reopened briefly, but swiftly closed again after another surge in migrant arrivals. The closure was extended indefinitely earlier this month. Finland wants the European Union to help in preventing any future migrant crisis. Finland is building a fence along part of the 1,340-kilometer border and increasing patrols. The government is debating legislation to block asylum seekers entering from Russia. Russia denies trying to create a migrant crisis on the Finnish border. Moscow has described Finland's accession to NATO as a historic mistake that would force it to take what it called countermeasures. Ukrainian fighters discovered the command post and radar station of the S-400 Triumph anti-aircraft missile complex belonging to the invading Russian army through a drone. Later, the radar station and the anti-aircraft complex were completely destroyed by continuous fire from the HIMARS rocket launcher system. Ukrainian forces have found success with the HIMARS on the battlefield since they arrived in the early summer of 2022, using its GPS-guided rockets to target Russian sites like ammunition depots, command posts, and bridges. The weapons were also critical in helping Ukraine recapture territory around the southern Kherson region. The UK-based Royal United Services Institute wrote in an assessment last year that the HIMARS and US made M2 270 multiple launch rocket systems signaled the moment where Russia's offensive in eastern Ukraine ended and the war transitioned into a new phase. Ukrainian forces need more than just US-made HIMARS rockets to blunt the increasing rate of Russian artillery fire, according to three war experts. От него этот обзор с другой стороны. Прям почти вообще разнесло. Мне прям в него попало, елки по. Так, я надо ходить. Пиздец. Там тоже, блядь. Урал Десантно-штурмовая. Мощная машина. С продуктами совсем, блядь. Все выгорело. Но, увы, выведена из строя. Блять, вот в Чечне, да, вот такая, в Чечне, Афган, вообще-то техника вообще... Вот Камикадзе добрался до машинки. Блять.
Жок машинки.